Every living thing needs water to survive. It is one of our most precious resources. But although water covers 70% of the Earth's surface, less than 1% of it is fresh water we can drink. In fact, one in nine people in the world has no access to safe drinking water at all. As the population grows, this will only get worse. So we need to be smart about the way we use and manage water, especially in hot, dry areas of the Middle East, like the Sultanate of Oman, which is 80% desert. Here, the Falaj networks are used to transport water from natural springs. But with so many people and such little rain, providing enough drinking water was a challenge. So they turned to the sea using a process called desalination to remove the salt and make it clean enough to drink. Veolia built one of the largest desalination plants in the Shakia region of southern Oman. It uses seawater to provide 375,000 people with drinking water. It's also the largest beach well catchment in the world and will soon be producing more than 130,000 cubic meters of water per day, enough to fill 52 Olympic swimming pools. Let's see how it works. Seawater is extracted from 28 wells that are 80 meters deep. It's passed through sand to filter out large particles, such as pollen or dust. Then, polished to remove any tiny particles, like bacteria. Next, the salt is removed by reverse osmosis. Pressure is applied to the water, forcing it through 7,000 reverse osmosis membranes. As the pressurized seawater flows over the membrane surface, water molecules are forced through the membranes, leaving the salt molecules behind, separating the salty water from the fresh water. The reverse osmosis membranes are then enclosed into a fiberglass shell. The membranes are connected end-to-end -end and housed in vessels. As the pressured seawater enters the pressure vessel and flows across the membrane surface, the water molecules are forced into and through the membranes, leaving the salt molecules behind. The rejected salty water goes back into the ocean. Back in the plant, minerals like magnesium and calcium are added to the water, plus fluoride to help reduce tooth decay. Now the water is pure enough to drink. The water quality is checked every day in our laboratory. Water is a precious resource that we all need to conserve. And there are small things that you can do to make sure it's not wasted. Turn the tap off tightly to stop it dripping. Turn the water off while you brush your teeth or wash your hands. And take quick showers instead of baths. We're counting on you to make a difference.